And the final skater in the men's free program is ready to go. Igor Paskevich, and in light of what happened to Todd, he has a tremendous opportunity. And Peter, you mentioned disbelief. How about total disgust? Todd just wants out. You just have so much anger, you want to get to the dressing room, get the skates off. And you can hear Paskevich's music, Opportunity Knocks for him. And right now, if he puts down a good performance, who knows what can happen to him in the standings. No struggle with his triple axel, double toe loop. back it up with another triple axel. The guys typically put two in their program, one on its own and one in combination, so you need that to be competitive in men's figure skating, but that one was not his best. He has quite a jam-packed program, and here coming up, he has a very difficult combination plan. Four jumps consecutively. And looks like he's just able to carry off two. He doubles the first and triples the last. I would say that Igor is a very consistent performer. He has great command over the blade and his body, but it never seems to carry into his facial expression, so I don't feel he makes a connection with the audience. the spin you go into a spin holding on to your blade very difficult Igor has been very consistent so far this season finished second in Germany one aspect of that he's had the same coach all of his skating career 17 years throughout the program. I think he could develop that program a lot more, but considering what's happened with Todd Eldridge, 
the judges certainly have a lot to think about here. And really kind of a lukewarm reception. And Susie, as you said, maybe it's because he just kind of lacks a connection with the audience. He does. It, he has it all together, but he can't quite reach the audience. And that comes off as lackluster. The triple axle's good in the air, but he really takes this around the corner, and then watch what happens on the landing. Okay there, but see how he whips around on the landing? It should be stretched out and a nice edge. That did not happen. And what's nice about his skating is he does some nice creative things. Right here, a very difficult entry to his spin. He doesn't even use his leg to push. He just uses a change of edge and the momentum from it. The triple lets you need a good landing. That did not happen here. See how he jerks out of that? It should be smooth. And here are the marks for Igor Paskevich, and this will determine whether Todd Eldridge is in the medals or not. And all of these marks range from 5-3 up to 5-6. It looks as though the U.S. judge is low, but actually the range has been low throughout the competition, so not unusual. And for presentation, as low as a 5-5 five, five and as high as a 5-8. Now, I think the 5-8 and 5-7 are a bit high. I would think that tech, those would have been the technical marks. And those scores are good enough to bump the world silver medalist, Todd Eldridge, into fourth place. Eldridge out of the medals, that hasn't happened at a major competition that he completed since the 95-96 season. Philippe Candeloro of France moves up from fourth to second. Alexi Agudin earns his first gold medal in a major international senior event. He's backstage with Christopher Bowman. Today, Alexi Agudin, you had not a perfect performance, but good enough to beat seated second place man in the world, Todd Eldridge. Your thoughts? Yeah, I, I skated not so perfect tonight and first my plan was just to skate clean but I didn't do this exactly and now with this not so perfect skater I won gold medal here and I hope that in future I will make more artistic impression and I will I will see in future because Todd Eldridge and Elvis Toyka and Elia Kulik, they are so important skaters and so difficult to beat them and I hope that in the future I will make, I will beat them. Well, we wish you the very best of luck, Alexi. Thank you very much. And how does this affect the overall series standings? Elvis Stoiko now solidly in first, but watch out for Yagudin. He can tie Stoiko with a win in Russia. More details on that in our wrap-up show.